Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to look at our lesson on quadratics. Unit 4, lesson 18 is about finding unknown inputs. So first we're going to read and understand the problem. A mechanical device is used to launch a potato vertically in the air. The potato is launched from a platform 20 feet above the ground when it, with an initial vertical velocity of 92 feet per second. Now, I'm going to circle this and put 20 feet above the ground. That seems important. And our initial velocity is 92 feet per second. If I'm looking at a, at a picture of this, here is my launcher for the potato. And then there's this path to right here, which is the ground. So the function h of t is negative 16 t squared plus 92 t plus 20. Again, this is our initial height. This is our initial velocity. And then this right here, this negative 16t squared, the minus sign tells us it's bringing it down, and that's our effects from gravity. So for each question, what's the height after one second? So each question, be prepared to explain your reasoning. What is the height of the potato one second after launch? Use a function to find the answer. So if you use a graph after one second, it seems to be about 100. So look, that's a little bit underneath it. So let's use our function. So I'm going to write the function down. h of t equals negative 16 t squared plus 92t plus 20. And then I'm going to plug in 1 for t. So this equals negative 16 times 1 squared plus 92 times 1 plus 20. Now 1 squared is 1 and negative 16 times 1 times 1 is negative 16. And then 92 times 1, I just add 92. And then here, I add 20. Now, what I do is I take 20 and then subtract 16 and get 4. Add that to 92. And I get 96 feet for my unit. So that would be my final exact answer. So 8 seconds after the launch, will the potato still be in the air? If I look at 8 seconds, if this y, or the x-axis here, is the ground, um, after 8 seconds, the potato hits the ground, because it hits the ground at about 6 seconds. So, no, the potato will be on the ground. Will the potato reach 120 feet? Actually, yes. And it looks, if I look at 120 feet, I have actually two answers, one here and one here. So it's yes, twice. Um, it's at 1.5 seconds. And the other one, maybe about 4.2 seconds. Doesn't have to be exactly there. When will the potato hit the ground? It looks like a little bit before six seconds, but I'm just going to say about six seconds. So now, ladies and gentlemen, we need to write an equation to represent the relationship between the measurements of the picture and the frame. So if I were drawing the picture, it's seven inches by four inches. And then the frame we don't know how long it is or how wide it is, but we do know it's the same width all the way around. So if I'm looking here, from this length to this length, it's seven. Here is x and x. 
So an expression for my overall length would be x plus a 7 plus the x. Combining my like terms, x plus x is 2x, and then plus 7. And then similarly for my width, we see in the middle it's 4, and then the sides are x and x. So you would have x plus 4 plus another x. So again, it's 2x plus 4. Now in looking at the area, we have some information. The frame is from 10 square inches of material. So we have the picture, which the length is 7 and the width is 4. You can switch those. And to get the area, I multiply. So 7 inches times 4 inches is 28 square inches. And then the area of the frame, we were told it's 4 inches times 10 inches, which is 10 square or 4 inches times 2.5 inches, which is 10 square inches. So 4 inches times 2.5 inches gives us 10 square inches. So my total area is equal to 28 square inches plus 10 square inches which is 38 square inches. So in getting an expression for the overall length and width, I could say, well, I multiply my length, 2x plus 7. I got to put that in parentheses to multiply my width, which is 2x plus 4. And then that gives me a total area of 38. So this equation means if I multiply the length of my uh, of my picture with frames, times the width of my picture with frames, I get an area of 38 square inches.